Day two, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go through this replay. Acquire knowledge. It'll be great. It'll be glorious. It'll be fantastic. All right. Your turn to ban. It's I love to ban concern ban myself bag. with the ban. For I know it's contents All right. well. First thing to do uh, is look at the graphs and see if there was ever a moment we were leading. And yes. maybe try and find something off After that. Long consideration, so I'm against Hawswax and Volker. I got one for Stick. I still think Stick, one set of tangos, is fine. I got a fucking wind lace. Just enough time to make a cup of tea. So it blocks my safe lane count. I fuck up my first. Alright. Alright! I fuck up my first Q of the game. And I lose a metric fuck ton of regen right here. What I should have done was immediately ferry out myself a salve, I believe. Meanwhile, while I'm regenerating my downtime, I should be checking out my small camp. Um, I think that's something I need to do a bit more vigilantly as a pulse 5, is immediately check which camps I have available and which have been blocked. Um, But my first minute of aggression, basically, where I should be the strongest here in this lane, um... Again, I don't realize it's blocked. I see there's no camp now. Wait, do I? I think I just... Now I've realized, but I don't have the regen to facilitate this. So I'm stuck in this weird predicament now, where I can't pull, I don't have gold, all because my first minute of aggression has been... My first two minutes of aggression have been fucking garbage. So now I'm stuck in this awful situation where I have no gold for regen, I have no gold for sentries, and uh, I'm just giving these guys free levels because of my discipline in the earlier levels. Like, Naga's ahead on farm only by the way. Nice. Naga kill. I, I should have checked with my Naga Siren there. I think that was a kill, but I mean, he's zoned out anyway. I don't have to get kills. I just have to secure my Naga Siren farm. That's my objective. Not getting kills right now. At least I get to go back to base and get regen. It's not the end of the world. I'm still kind of okay with that. Now there's an SD. Oh, so, so much gold. All because I fucked up my first minute. Well, oh, Nog is getting pressured. I finally got the ability to deward. Nice. 
So in terms of net worth, I'm closing in on SD after that horrid start. Imagine if I was ahead. If I was ahead of his SD and I'd had more regen and we could have pressured even harder level 1 or 2. Then, uh... Or if I'd have said, Naga, we're gonna just run at these guys level 1 because they can't do shit to us. Imagine if I'd have done either of those things. The same would be secured. Because right now, my only objective is to protect Naga Siren, get a stack off, get the runes at some point. I had to communicate that fact to these people. Because this guy is quite tanky. This guy's got boots. As well. Never refuse gold. Give it. So Naga dies. Uh, what sort of prize? This guy gets this? more gold. They get more gold than we do. Well gotten gains. So we get. All right, we're two and one right now. In this no three and one. All right, three and one in our favor. We have a slight net worth advantage, but we're about to start falling behind. Um, because I didn't immediately recognize that this camp was blocked. I should know by 145 if my small camp is blocked. So that I can make the decision to get sentries. And if I know that I'm buying sentries, I won't play anywhere near as aggressive. And then once I've secured this a minute earlier, I get a full pull, we get the level advantage. Bob's your uncle, we're good to go. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? What's my player perspective? Am I distracted? So I, I say that I'm stacking. No! What is this? I'm trying to double stack? Why am I stacking this one? If I'm stacking the small cab, why would I need to stack this one? This is the one that they can easily access. Ah! Oh my good golly gosh, why have I done this? And I didn't even pull! Why did I not pull the 615? Why am I here? Why am I not pulling the 645? I have a small camp stack here, finally! What I've worked so hard to get towards. My Naga could be farming under tower. But instead... Oh my lord. This is so bad. This is so horrifically bad. So suddenly my Naga... Now my Naga Siren is... Uh, a little bit ahead. She's still 300 gold ahead. 400, 200 gold ahead, but... Now I'm dead. This guy's gonna start. He's got six now. Shakiro's here. This is just... This is a disaster right now. Complete fucking disaster. Because of how I've played. The power of the small camp is insanely, insanely strong for the position 5. Again, because of well, this is Naga's incompetence. But here's the thing: if my Naga's stupid, um, and I tell her not to play here, and she plays here, there's nothing I can do about this. But she should be maybe I don't know a level ahead of you guys. She should have soft the siren right now. If my Naga's a level ahead. She So we get a 
500, 400 gold swing in our favor, and we're still behind because our novice hand is not farming, and they're PL. Novice shouldn't be a thousand gold behind the PL. This is entirely on me. And now I'm stuck having to play dead lanes. Hmm. Uh, I remember I played the dead lane fine, I believe. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Do we have a chance for a comeback? Any? No, it kind of just peters off after a while. It's 1.5k ahead of Nog on the PL. Ember's not having a great game. Clock's not having a great game. But here's the thing: I could have made Naga have a great game. Trickster's rule of illusion. I'm so poor as well. I could be, I should be richer than a Shadow Demon, I believe here, if I'd have played my the lane properly and stopped and like linked my aggression with my Naga Siren. Green top thing is about to get knocked over. That's really bad by me. Radiant's top tower. Your green dudes, something bad. Your boss. Green dude's top thing is about to get 600 over. gold in our favor, but my ammo is already really far behind, and now so is my Naga. Everyone, go! Fuck. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Girls top, girls top. My team is farming, which is stupid. I'm position three clockwork. The conch shove waves, and that's why we're in this middle position. Tower is under attack. <laughs> Comforting rule of a generation. My ult and disruptors, but then, ah, then I have a Naga Siren. This is gonna die because she's so far behind. Because me, ah, uh, now we're 3k behind the 15 minutes, and the game's basically over. If we should lose this game unless they throw super hard. Um. Could look at this replay. Fuck. So bad, man. Bad dudes banning someone now. Radiant team, radiant team ban. Five seconds remain. Bad dudes banning someone now. The green team's banning someone now. <clears throat> Dire team pick. Radiant. Radiant. Protect. Radiant. Protect. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Axe. Five seconds remaining. Ah, fuck it. Bad Don't you see the draft stage? Radiant team ban. Five seconds remaining. Dire ah. team ban. <laughs> Please just bear in mind I'm trying my best here. Flex's guide to being a Dota 2 announcer. So what's the thing about starting items? I went for a lot of stroke pass damage. First blast! The 
grass lies trampled where the body fell. No, 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 no. I got the two range creeps, nice, nice. Almost a kill. How do we not get that kill? Alright, let's look at everything that led up to not getting that kill. Was there a time where I switched apart? Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Uh, I get Soy in the skin of his teeth. We should have got Orb of Venom on Void in this lane, actually. We were really strong level 1. Now that I think about it. Maybe you don't want to get against a tree. Oh, that's ambitious. Oh, this fighting hasn't given me much chance to reset the wave. What I should be doing right now is... Oh, we still denied two range creeps, though. So, in terms of levels, we're two and a half and three. And they are one and a, half, one and a quarter and two. So we have a pretty... We'll see, we'll see. You will have our thanks. So my new strategy here is to pull this wave, set up the stack for the 254, and then... Gonna fall over soon. Do I even want to full pull this wave? I don't think I do. So now they've, they're they going to start positioning properly, which is going to be annoying. And I'm out of position. And they're level 2. So why am I plus three on this, right? I still thought we were strong based on how, how it's level three. But what I should have done is push the wave first, create a double wave, or create the stack, but essentially I can't let myself fight these guys so far away from my tower at level two, level three. And again, I missed my opportunity to stack. Like, this guy's easy pickings if I just chip him from afar. Double up the wave. Now, Treant's a little bit annoying. I don't want to be using regen on Treant, really. She has 5.7 base regen. And do I have a stick yet? Why do I have this wiggle? Right. Alright, now is the time to go set up the small camp stack into getting the runes. No, he's playing aggressive. I want to stack. Ah, this is, this is what you do. I, It's just lack of clarity. I know I can't fight here and I'm just dead now. That, that being denied, being denied here is not worth it. I should have a full small camp stack and a, and a bounty rune. We should be able to shove out on the... On the Catapult wave, out shove these guys, pull. Instead, I'm trying to fight because I'm not respecting these guys as heroes. They've respected me very well in this lane. When I've tried to apply pressure, they've backed. They've split. They've got their region out. But now, I'm I'm not respecting players of a, be a better caliber in this lane. 
I didn't even think they were that good. They just, but all they did was respect me as a hero. Rank 300. Rank 351. Like, uh, this, the lack of respect that I'm showing these players is, quite frankly, very, very disgusting. How they don't have to do anything against me because I'm not respecting them. What sort of prize is this? Again, I could I could have run back. All right, he's under tower. Go back for the small camp stack. I'm not thinking about the, the stacks that I need to make, because I wanted to apply pressure with catapults anyway. But if I had had a stack available already, then... Like, like what, what does this tower pressure apply, right? I, the tower pressure to the offlane tower is like jack shit, unless you have serious threat on it. And they have a tree in this, it's gonna play dead lanes. It's not worth it. I could have stacked this camp, I could have pulled this camp here, I could have forced them to fight us round here. Susan has no mana, I have no mana. Fuck, man. And now we're behind the Veno. Something for everybody! And we're already 3k behind, and the top was a disaster, but this is, um... The reason I'm losing this laning stage is all because I don't respect what these heroes can do. I don't position accordingly. I don't spell usage accordingly. I don't pull accordingly. But now he's got boots. So fucking tanky. This guy has seven? Oh, it's an ad fucking agi hero. Do you see this move? And now we just can't clear these fast enough. This hero getting leveled is so fucking detrimental. He's so weak in the first three levels. Oh, that bash! Oh no! Ah, this lane is over. I didn't respect them as heroes. Uses an exquisite toxin. Oh, poor Torrid. Demon gold. Alright, that's my replay review done for the day. Cool tag.